and I'm not playing an April Fool's trick early on you. This is actually our live look from our CSU camera of downtown right now. There's a whole lot of snow coming down in some spots. Quick burst putting down a decent coating. As you can see, this is at, uh, actually in Cleveland right now, too. So some of the grassy surfaces picking up some of this as well. Other than that, I, I really don't think this is going to last too much longer. So it's not going to have a huge impact to your entire Saturday. But if you have plans, maybe to dart to the grocery store this morning, maybe you want to do it a little later in the day if you want to and avoid maybe getting out on the roadways right now. Visibility can also change in a moment's notice, but something we're all locked in by this morning is our temperatures in the 20s. We feel like we're in the teens just thanks to a real light wind, but a light wind this time of the year can obviously do a lot when you're already in the 20s. Across the area, most of the snow is still confined closer to the lake, but quick couple of bursts down through Ashland and Richland County right now that'll make its way towards Wayne and parts of Medina and even northern Holmes County too. The heaviest of snow, some of those quicker bursts coming down through parts of Cuyahoga County out to Geauga to Trumbull, even Portage County too. I think some of you could pick up maybe a half an inch up to an inch out of this short lived because here is the back edge of that snowfall. It's about 100 miles or so away and as we do so we'll actually have some cloud cover linger but beyond that we are in full on sunshine mode and that takes over even for the day tomorrow as the central plain states are rather quiet right now. We have to look all the way out to California to see our next weather maker which will dart up gain some extra energy through the central plain states and then make it to us. So where do our temperatures go today? Well 40 in Huron all the way down to Mansfield in the mid 40s and a spread through some of our central counties too from Cuyahoga all the way down to Tuscarawas County. I think the low 40s closer to the lake as the sun starts to peak on out become a little bit farther inland. You might get closer to 50 today also. You pull a little bit farther to the east, men are maybe around 37 degrees or so, and then those spots maybe a little bit farther inland, like Warren, closer to Youngstown, about 45 degrees. Ashtabula, you could be held, holding right there in the mid-30s for us. When it comes to tomorrow near National Zimmer on the hour forecast, start to finish a whole on a whole lot of sunshine for your Sunday. We'll start the day in the 30s, but make it closer to 50 degrees. So if you're maybe trying to pick a day to go on a longer walk, and you don't want to walk in the snow. It's not this morning. It's tomorrow. You have opportunity from start to finish in your day to get out and do some of that. But in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, you're going to notice a difference. We stair step back up by Monday. We're back in the 50s. We'll have rain around some wind too as that next system that's still in California right now makes it to us. And then we drop briefly, but when we go right back up. We could actually be closer to 60 degrees come Wednesday. I think we have a late day rain chance as then we prepare for more rain on Thursday, Danielle, but not a terrible weekend. In all mm -hmm. honesty, it feels like exactly where we should be for this time of the year today. It's interesting. We keep going back and forth from mm -hmm. winter to spring to winter to spring. Are you all so. catching colds out there? Because I'm sure this is the forecast for it. <laughs> right. You are so true. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Peyton.